Hello, my name's Terry, my call sign G4POP, or for Papa Oscar Papa. This tutorial is all about backup and restore with LogFroM. Let's face it, from time to time things do happen. Hard drives fail, we get infested with malware or viruses, and sometimes things go a little screw. The first thing is to remember that you must make sure that your backups are being saved. There are two positions you must look at. The first one is in the program setting. Ensure that automatic backup and closure is always checked. If you disable that, you're going to have nothing at all to fall back on. And if it all goes belly up, it's all down to you. You'll have to start again. The second position is actually the backup folder. And in here, you should choose a backup folder to which you want to restore both your settings and your sorry to back up your settings and your um, edit file with all of your QSOs on it and we, we supply a backup folder in LogFroM which is here a default one but you will need to pick it up and say OK I set the backup rotation to 13 now this means that when it gets to its 13th backup LogFroM will delete the oldest backup and add a new one so you always have 13 backups there, <coughs> the latest one and 13 consecutive older backups. I also set additional backups and I choose to use uh, a uh, cloud drive, Google Drive, and I've got a folder there as you can see with the uh, backup files in it. I set the backup rotation on this to 12 or 13 and check the box enable rotation again so you know you'll always have another th 13 backups to rely on somewhere in the cloud so if your computer shall we say gets stolen or catches fire and <coughs> cannot recover anything from your computer at least you can re restore from the cloud if you need to now, having made sure that you've got the backup set there will come a day when you open your recent QSOs and there is absolutely nothing there to see uh, so you'll be worrying about what to do. In fact, you'll probably find that uh, LogFroM is right back to its original settings and you've got to start from fresh. But all is not lost. It's quite a simple matter. If you open the File Explorer on your Windows program and go to this PC, <coughs> find the C drive, the user folder, and you will have one here named Fred, Tom, Dick, Harry, your call sign or whatever. Double click on that. Double click on the app data. Now you may not see app data. If you don't, go to the view on the top here. Come along and check the hidden items box. That way you will see these hidden folders. Double click on app data. Double click on roaming. And then go down and you'll find LogFroM version 2. And there's a backup folder. Remember the one that we set in the program. And it's so simple to do this. First of all, double click on the backup folder and there are your backups. My last backup was at 3.30, which was an hour ago nearly. And there are two files for that backup. See both of those? It's 330, um, one's called a config JSON and the other one's called a backup Addy. And what you need to do is to just change the name of this one. All the bit in front, which is the call sign, the date and time, and the underscore removed. So you're just left with config JSON. You see the file there? Once you've done that, you're going to go back to the home menu and click copy. Or you can go and right click on the file and select copy. Then you'll go back, just go to the back button and you're back to this main LogFroM folder. And you see you have a user folder. And in that user folder is already a config JSON. All you need to do is to hit the paste button. It will tell you 
that file already exists, do you want to replace the file in the destination? You will say yes, and it will overwrite the file. Now when you next start up LogFroM, everything will have been restored. So it's <coughs> because that JSON knows where to find your database file. There may be, occasionally be a situation where you've lost the database file as well. That is also an easy thing to rectify. Going back to our folder again on the File Explorer, we'll go to this PC, future C drive, users again, we're going back to the same place, your username, app data, and roaming. And when you go to Docro M backups. And there's an edit file. And pick the one with the latest date and time on it. And that'll be all of your QSOs to save from before. So now you know where that is. All you need to do is to make a new database by going to the program configuration database and make a new database click in the new button create a database so I won't do it now because I've got one there already and once you've done that file import adif find that particular file we were looking at before which if you remember is in users your username app data Roaming, look for home too, backups, there are the ADI files, pick the latest one, click open, and then all you need to do is click the import button and it will import all of those QSOs into your new database and you will be up and running. I hope this has been of use to you, thank you for watching and there will be more uh, tutorials soon hopefully.